noticed this piece is really built out of a rhythm. The rhythm is key, so let's spend some time looking at that. Let's start off with this. Now let's add a bit. The tune looks incredibly complicated, but actually it's very simple. If we take away the twiddly bits, it's just this. Start with your second finger on D. Second one, second finger on B. All we have to do now is the end of the line, which is what we call a cadence. Start with your fourth finger on C. Let's put them together. You don't have to connect them smoothly. You can jump. lifting my hand up and putting it down on a new note. In the first bar you just start on B flat, go up an octave. In fact it's quite like a scale. your thumb on B flat and on F. Finish it off with the cadence. Don't try and stretch that octave if it's too big for you. Jump it by rotating your forearm like that. Let's add another note. And another few. the middle bar tricky, spend some time with it on its own. Then join it together with the first bar. Do practice 
practice it a lot, hands separately, before you try putting hands together, and don't rush it. There's a bit of luck here, because the motif in bar 5 and bar 7 are the same. Start with your third finger on the B flat. Bar 6 is tricky. You need to get your second finger on the F sharp and then again on the A. Bar 8 sounds like this. we have some more of those octave leaps. Get your five on G and on C. Then we have a downward scale going from D to D. got your thumb on the A and on the D. In bar 8 start with your second finger on the C. Put it together in the same way that you put together bar 1 to 4. Make sure you're very confident of hand separate first. You could use both. If you find something difficult, concentrate on that and then add notes either side of it. They're kind of going up a scale. Start with your second finger on the D and put your fifth finger on the F. That means you'll be able to reach down to the lower F with your thumb. The left hand in bar 9 and 10 is a scale going upward again. Isn't that nice? Start with your third finger on the E flat. rotation again to get down to the low B flat. Cadence finishes it off quite nicely. Start with your two on the D. You should be able to get to the thumb on F.
first beat of the bar and make the second two beats quieter. <laughs> If you find it difficult to play it at that speed, play it at a speed that you feel comfortable and then slowly increase the speed using a metronome if you have one. If you haven't got one, it would probably be a good idea to get one. You can get an app for an iPod as well that's very good.